at Furnace Room Brewery and I am officially finished the mural. Oh my God, what an incredible journey. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Get a little bit of close up as we go. So here's Mr. Wright and the dog's bollocks. Oh, and of course I have to give a shout out to uh, Ingrid Nuss who designed this. We're gonna go up the river, cross the tracks to the train house, which is right across from the brewery. And then we go up to the iron bridge uh, and the Hellas or high water up top there. And we're gonna move along here to the festive fox thirsty little guy and of course the furnace room growler which will be uh they'll actually be serving again uh come august 8th <laughs> there you go uh and then this is the furnace room brewery to look like an old stove pipe uh, an old stove wood stove so this is where you will find the mural is in through those doors right there and then of course we have proof that I can actually paint beers. <laughs> Mr. Beardmore uh, was finished up today. That was a lot of line work in that crazy beard, uh, but super cool to be able to finish him up. And then we'll look across the skyline here and I'll take you to the Dynamo, which is a pretty cool piece of history in Georgetown. Uh, it was one of the first dynamos to power uh, the mill, the paper mill, which happens to be right down here, uh, and actually provide power to uh, homes in Georgetown as well. Now, of course, there are a couple little Easter eggs as we go along here. Uh, some names of some of the fine folks here uh, that you might recognize. And then we will come on down to the beautiful lady who was part of the Belgian uh, orange chocolate beer, uh, the alchemist and Dubolo 7 and his beautiful lady. And then we're gonna head over to the right house, which was one of the most challenging pieces in the mural to, uh, to actually do, but it was all done by hand, uh, no tape, so lots of line work there. And of course, if you've ever lived in Georgetown, uh, this is Chicken Man, an actual man who used to often ride around with a chicken on the back of his bike, uh, most often on a pillow, uh, but he's kind of a local legend. Unfortunately, he's not alive anymore, but uh, memories of the real guy. So we're gonna go up through the forest and over to Fountain Green, which is a place in Limehouse. And then we're gonna go upstream and we're gonna check out the Georgetown, uh, similar to the Hollywood sign. There's some details that uh, from down low you won't really be able to see, but I was being a little sneaky doing it like that. And then we're gonna go up to the moon where we have the apricot astronaut giving a little thumbs up saying, hey, what's up? And then down to Coyote Dark. Down through the hills and back we go. So this has been, uh, again, almost 200 hours of time. Uh, and it's been a long process, a long journey, but I'm super excited to have this here as part of the Furnace Room Brewery and, uh, you know, a little piece of local history. So again, thank you guys for following uh, with me on the journey. There'll be some more stuff coming on this soon uh, and make sure to check that out. All right, you're, you're welcome to stop in and see it live in person. They're going to be revamping the upstairs area here uh, shortly, so you'll be able to, once things open back up, uh, enjoy a little cool ambiance upstairs here at Furnace Room. Thanks guys, cheers!